How's it going everyone? It's me again, SASGQ, bringing you a different type of video. This is on my bed. Uh, last time I did a video on the bed was like one of my first videos, and that was a review of my Project Salvo up there. So um, I wanted to bring this video to the bed because I wanted to show you guys different reloadings, uh, different ways to reload for the Milsig M17 uh, CQC because the XDC and the DMR you reload from the side the M17 you reload from the bottom that's your mag release on the bottom normally they're on the side uh, this is like the AK-47 style uh, mag release so there's it's very it comes in handy if you're say a left handed shooter which I'm not I'm a right handed shooter but still uh, it's ambidextrous, all the, uh, you know, simple, but uh, very reliable as well. Um, what else? Yeah, this weekend I played a MAGFED event, um, and I used my CQC. Uh, my first video that I took with the M17, I only had one magazine, and that was the one that came with it. I just wanted to test it out that day, you know, just dilly-dally around. Um, since then, yesterday, I picked up four more. So, here's the four, and then here's the one that originally came with it. Um, I also, for every single one of my magazines, I have these here, Magpuls. They're Milsig Magpuls, so they're the ones that you should get if you have these type of magazines. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to reload and some cool ways to reload the M17 CQC. Okay, so I brought it, I brought this video to my bed because uh, I didn't want to drop these mags on the ground because, you know, they're brand new. I would do it in a game, but, you know, why risk it now on hard tile floor? Okay, so we have one mag. It's in the gun, right? So, um, if you keep reloading, you put the mag inside your marker, like, about like 10 times or so, it's going to be very smooth to take out and put back in. So smooth, in fact, it even falls out. Just like that. Uh, some people ask me, on, I had a comment saying, when you press the mag release, does the magazine fall out? Well... If you purchase, like, the one that it came with, if I could find it, give me a second. The one that it came with right here, um, for some reason, this one doesn't drop out. This one, it just stays in when I press the mag release. Stays in there. You would have to, you know, wiggle it around for it to fall out. But all the other ones, they just fall right out. Another feature like that comes in handy with the mag poles is that they give you a little cushion so when you drop your mag it'll hit the little cushion and then hit the ground and the corners they'll be safe from like cracks or whatever um, okay so we put the mag in this one is if you're doing a ta tactical reload that means you still have paint inside your magazine but there's a lot of people coming around and you're not really sure how much paint you have so you want to uh, reload it um, okay so how I do it I utilize the middle finger instead of having your index finger press the mag release on the side you can't really push the mag release down there it feels awkward so what I like to do I like to utilize the middle finger and press the mag release down with the middle finger then rotate, then slam the magazine in, then put this either in the dump pouch or just drop it on the floor. Another reload would be the side-by-side -side reload. So right now, I'm going to press the mag release, slide it out, side-by-side, -side, and go right in. Like that. There's some pros and cons about it. Pros, it's really quick, but cons it could uh, get stuck on this little ridge here 
your second mag, that the fresh mag that you're trying to put in, it could get stuck on the ridge, or this one, and it won't go in as quickly as you planned on it. So, so something something like this could happen, like like that. You know, when you press, like when you slam both the magazines on the thing instead of putting it in like you're supposed to. Especially when the adrenaline's pumping, you know, you're not gonna really think that quick. Uh, this one, by far, is my favorite, favorite reload because it's the quickest, in my opinion, and it's the coolest. This reminds me of the FAL in Modern Warfare 2. It, re it reloads it's a kick I call it the kick out reload so what you want to do is take the magazine anywhere on the magazine uh, I like right below the, the collar the square head like this is the square head I like it right below it I like to use this part to press the mag release and you have to do it all in one motion um, if you have mag pulls this is also like a advantage because it it has a little lip here the, from the mag pull to the magazine so I like dig the fresh mag in there on the motion so that it kicks the mag out so what you want to do is hit it falls out and you reload just like that so again kick out like that if somebody sees you do that you're they're gonna be amazed because that's that's a pretty cool reload in my opinion so yeah thanks for watching the reloading uh, tips on tips and tricks on how to reload the M17 CQC subscribe if you have not already because I'm coming up with the magfed event video which is gonna be awesome because I shoot so many people peace out